So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Woo! All right, Tregos, what's happening? It's the Tuesday night game that was planned. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Witherby Road. It's Harrogate Tan v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. Another midweek game up north. It's not Stoke away, but can our players do it on a cold winter night up in Harrogate? We'll find out. Actions and words and all that jazz. Left hand. Right hand. Green. But anyway, that's another chat of bollocks. Let's hear the football news. So Harrogate finished sixth last season in the Vanarama National League, where they played 46 times, winning 21, drawing 11, losing 14, scoring 78, conceding 57, giving them a goal difference of plus 21, and they ended on 74 points. They currently sit fourth, and the last five games have been four wins and one draw, and they're unbeaten in the last nine. <laughs> Simon Weaver ain't been sacked by his dad yet. The last time we played Harrogate away, I couldn't find anything about his record. So I've just done a record from the last time we played him then to now. So he's now taken 69 games, Giggity. winning 32, drawing 14, losing 23. Gives him a win percentage of 46.38. Number 14, Brendan Kieran, who has five goals in 17 games. I don't care about your lens. I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. The 14th of the 8th, 2018. Harrogate Tan 2, Barnett 0. Jack Emmett and Liam Kitchen scoring the goals of Harrogate, giving Tan all three points. <laughs> So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, arrogant town. And your infernal eternal one-way system. And your great Nairsborough bed race. And at one time you held the Eurovision Song Contest. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnet tonight in the 4 2 3 1. Loach in goal, your back four of Shad Alexander at right back, Elliot Johnson at left back, Captain Cannon Reynolds and Dan Sweeney as your two centre halves, two centre mids, Harry Taylor and James Dunn, three in the advanced midfield role, David Tatondra on the wide left, Maro Valletti on the wide right, Medi Alito in the number 10 role, and up front, Simeon Akinola. And this is a Harrogate Town lineup in a 3 5 2. 15 minutes in, Harrogate Town 1, Barnet 0. Opening 15, quick pace game, both teams. Teams passing it well, no one breaking each other down. A lack of concentration where we just switched off and they had a counter attack. We ended up getting a corner and we've conceded from yet another corner. A couple of minutes after that, we get a counter attack, break down their left hand side. Good work between Elliot Johnson to Tondo. To Tondo puts the ball in the box, Valetti turns the defender, gets a shot off, keep a push for a corner, a couple of corners, but nothing came with them. 19 minutes in, Arrogate Town 2, Barnett 0. From the goal kick, we know where it's going to go to Beck, yet we don't pick up on it. He wins the header, knocks it into the centre of midfield. He goes Goes all the way over to our right hand side. Filetti tries to get a last minute ditch. Smith run into her box. It's a great finish in the end. And they're 2 0 up. And we're just too slow to react to everything. Back 10 to the half. Arrogate still lead 2 0. They've been absolutely excellent. They're very organised. We've been chasing shadows for most of it. That's in, that's in, that's in! Yes! 36 minutes in. Arrogate Tan 2, Barnet 1. We've pulled one Barnet. back. David Tatonda got onto the end of a deflection shot by Media Lito. Can we wake up now? Almost half time. Just one minute added on, Arrogant still lead 2-1. Half 
time here at Weatherby Road and it's Arrogate Tan 2, it's Barnet 1. Arrogate Tan were excellent for the first 30, 35 minutes. We couldn't get near them and I was impressed with them last season like I am this season. It's just great to watch. Quick pressure, high intensity, going for it, driving, communication, everything you want from a football team. We've not been poor, we've made poor decisions, but we've just been slow in them decisions. Getting out, communication, it's been better than Hartley Ball, but why does it always take us to go a goal down, two goals down before we wake up? We've pulled a goal back and then Arrogant now look broke. We kept that pressure on. Half time probably come from the wrong time for us. We score a goal and their arse goes. We need to keep this pressure up now, but it's every single week. It's like concede, head drop down, play, repeat. It's just the same over and over again now. Beck's winning absolutely everything and we can't get near him. Flackenham, smallest man on the pitch running the show yet again like he did last season here. Don't know what team's going to turn up in this second half, but we've got 45 minutes. See what we can do. Come on, Barnett. minutes in, still two on to Harrogate. Second half started, and the first half side, fast paced by both sides. We've had more of the possession, more of the ball, the driving out them, just can't break them down at the moment, but Harrogate are keeping their shape well, and they're keeping the ball well. 65 minutes in, we're still 2-1 down. We've been 10 times better in the second half. We just don't pull the trigger. Sim dancing in the box, don't pull the trigger, goes for a corner, nothing comes of it. Same as the Tonda, either pull the trigger, or you've got to play Dunny in as he's made the run. We've done neither. Quarter of an hour to go, we're still losing 2-1, but Harrogate's Man, down to 10 men. John Stead, who's just come on, has now just been sent off. Reynolds plays a shit short pass to Dunny, who's lost the ball. Arrogant counter attack. Stead flying in on Sweeney. The potential leg break on Sweeney. That's fucking disgusting. We've got 15 minutes to go. We're losing 2 1. Shit or bus, lads. Into the last five of normal time. It's still 2 1 to Harrogate. It's been all of us even before they went down to 10 men. Just struggling to break them down, though. Into 90th. They just added on six minutes. So we're just lumping long balls in the box. End of Sleep. Yes, go on! Oh, I don't believe it! I don't fucking believe it! It's got to be about two minutes left. Still two on to Harrogate. Filetti has a shot. Keeper parries it. It's about four of our players running in. Josh Walker has a shot. Keeper saved it again. Went for a fucking corner. I think that's all she wrote. The fat lady is singing. So the game finished, Arrogate Tan 2, Barnet 1. I don't know what I can say. I've used all the words that I know in my vocabulary. I've even looked through the dictionary and the Bible for some help to say something that I've not already said. For the first half hour, I thought Harrogate was excellent. The way they play football and move the ball is exciting to watch. From their movement, communication, positional awareness, their sharpness, everything. It was an evenish game, but they just edged it the way that they held on and moved that ball. And before you know it, we're 2-0 down again. Five minutes of where it just went to shit. But those five minutes is what cost us the game. And when we pulled one goal back, Arrogate did look shaky at the back because we was on top by then. But why is it taken 35 minutes and for us to go 2-0 down to get into the game? It was all of us in the second half even before Arrogate went down to 10 men. I don't even want to say we was knocking on the door because we wasn't really testing the goalkeeper enough. We're getting into the right areas. We're getting to the final third and we're still not shooting. We're trying to walk it into the goal. So we did didn't do enough to break them down and then when they go down to 10 men for the last 15 minutes of the game all we did was lump long and hopeless balls into the box to small men up front. Arrogant was panicking at the back why didn't we use some brains and go free at the back and force it wide just keep driving at them make them make the mistake because as soon as they got the ball it was a toe punt and it was coming straight back at them they dealt with it every time we need to use our brain our football intelligence of knowing what we need to do with our man management and they had to break down a team with 10 men. Because they had two banks of four, all they was going to do is sit and defend that lead. Better effort than it was against Hartlepool. Facts are facts, and we've lost again, and now that's one win in nine. Coaching that on right now, first things first, we need to get Jack Barron back now because we lack firepower up front so much. We can move the ball around in nice areas, in nice triangles, get in the right area. If we're not going to shoot, we're not going to score. Seconds, we need to be hard to break down. So get rid of the 4 2 3 1. There's more than two formations in the world. All we've used this season is the 3 5 2 or the 4 2 3 1, which I can't stand. We need to be hard to beat. So why not go to a 4 1 4 1? It might only be one up front, but we need to stop leaking goals and then wake up and play football. Your classic 4 4 2. Fuck it. What about a diamond? We just need to do something at the moment that stops us leaking goals. Even pack the midfield in a 4 5 1. That's the first two things I'd sort out. Our crossing ain't bad, but if we've got no one to get onto it, it's just wasted opportunities. Next up is Chorley at home. You know what to do. 
to do. Ta-da. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my